What's going on guys, Super Heavy Wolves here and time for March pickups. So we're starting with the only DVD which is fucking Driven. Driven. Starring Sylvester Stallone, Burt Reynolds, Kip Pardue, Till Spiger, Tina Gerson, Estella Warren, Christian de la Fuente. Directed by Rennie Harlan. This movie fucking sucks. This this movie is so goddamn shitty. Like, like just don't watch this. This cost me about one euro, and that that's just about the right price for this. Even lower, and this is one of these snapper cases. Just don't watch this. I bought this this out of curiosity to see what kind of a train wreck this is bad early 2000s CG this movie is confused what's it about and well Sylvester Stallone is in it about 10 to 15 minutes that says a lot he just wanted to look cool. Yeah. Just 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 don't watch this. God damn. And then something kind of boring, The Legend of Tarzan. This film is so okay that my mouth will be tried before I can even say it. No one shines. This stars Samuel Jackson. Alexander Skarsgård is the Tarzan. Margot Robbie is Jane. And there's Jimon Hansu and Christoph Waltz as the villain. And Christoph Waltz is a good actor. But in this, he just give us, gives us the basic performance. Nothing else. Nothing like in Inglorious Bastards or something. Just so dull performance. Just nothing. And then something why I bought this Doolittle starring Robert Downey Jr. Again, out of curiosity to see what kind of a train wreck this is. Just that is the case with this. As what I've heard. Then we have Robin Williams in Patch Adams. Yay! And this is really familiar with, really similar with the Soul Media, the other uh, distributor in uh, Nordic countries. But this is not Soul Media, this is Excalibur Media. And they are releasing Universal owned movies, and this is one of them. And then we have Death Becomes Her, a Robert Zemeckis film starring Mer Meryl Streep, Bruce Willis, Coldy Hawn. Then Gregory Peck as MacArthur. More Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, Kindergarten Cop. Ivan Reitman film. And more Ivan Reitman film starring Arnold. Twins. And also... Danny DeVito is in it. And then more Sylvester Stallone. Here's Fist. And yeah, it looks pretty similar with this. The font of the text is exactly the same. The layout is similar. And this is the older Soul Media releases. The newer ones, they don't look like this. They look like something, something whole lot different. And then more older Soul Media releases Terence Hill in Man of the Ye East. Yeast. And these are, yeah, they include a sticker saying this box only contains the Blu-ray disc. But these should be combo packs with with the DVD 
And I don't know why. What, what the hell is the thing with this? I think uh, these are older prints, so they didn't have that much uh, DVDs printed or Blu-rays, so they they just did this, which is kind of dull. And then we have Headshot from the makers of the Raid movies, and starring the same guy, Iko Ways, as the main character. And then another intriguingly, what, what is this movie? The Iron Mask, again starring Schwarzenegger, and then Jackie fucking Chan. Yeah. What the hell is this movie? Just, again, out of curiosity, and this was pretty cheap, so why the hell not? And then some some upgrading to Blu-ray. Here is G.I. Joe, The Rise of Cobra. The first live-action G.I. Joe movie. Yeah, this, this movie mm -hmm. is just okay. Nothing. I am not a big fan of G.I. Joe. And I don't really care about it. It wasn't part of my childhood. So, yeah. And then some epic, epic, long, three-hour movie. Dr. Zivago from 1965. Really awesome movie. I liked it a lot. It tells about the Russian Revolution movement from the early... 1900s. Yeah, really, really entertaining movie. I like the theme about it. Yeah, I, I recommend this a lot. And then some more Wes Anderson films. Here's Fantastic Mr. Fox. Yeah, really good uh, director. And then one TV series, actually, live action one. Narcos, first season, and then the second one really both of these were really cheap that's why I bought them and yeah you can find this series on Netflix but I just wanted to get these so yeah someday I will watch Narcos and if I like it I will watch the third season and then Bond Criterion Collection Blu-ray a brighter summer day Filmed by Edward Yang. Yeah, a friend recommended this movie, and uh, yeah, I decided to buy it. And it and it is really really long. If you can see, it's 234 minutes long movie, almost four hours. Yeah, I'm eagerly waiting to watch that too. And then we end with anime. Here is Children of the Sea, anime movie, and then Children Who Chase Lost Voices, Steelbook Edition by Anime Limited, the last steelbook right now from Anime Limited out of the Makoto Shinkai films. And this is uh, my least favorite out of Makoto Shinkai. It's still Pretty okay movie, but nothing, nothing that amazing. It looks good, animation is quite, quite good, but this doesn't shine like the rest of the Shinkai movies, and that's a bummer. And also, kind of a double dip. Actually, it is because I have the manga entertainment limited edition collector's edition of this movie in in that stupid flap box or coffin that's i hate that design but in steelbook this looks amazing and it includes the one thing i bought this the soundtrack i want the soundtracks then a couple of anime boxes. Here is Cyber City Oedo 808. Yeah, more old school anime 
OBAs. Yeah. And unboxing, of course. And then, last but not least, Full Metal Panic Invisible Victory Box. Anime Limited, of course, or all the anime. Com. Huge, good looking box, a lot of stuff, unboxing, of course, again. And that was pretty much the last one. And quite awesome pickups again. And I'll see you next time with more unboxings. <laughs>